Hello, and welcome back to the Southern Bible Thumper channel. For this upload, we will be reading Numbers chapter 18. And the Lord said unto Aaron, Thou and thy son and thy father's house with thee shall bear the iniquity of the sanctuary, and thou and thy sons with thee shall bear the iniquity of your priesthood. And thy brethren also of the tribe of Levi, the tribe of thy father, bring thou with thee, but that they may be joined unto thee and minister unto thee, but thou and thy sons with thee shall minister before the tabernacle of witness, and they shall keep thy charge and the charge of all the tabernacle, only they shall not come nigh the vessels of the sanctuary and the altar, that neither they nor ye also die. And they shall be joined unto thee, and keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation, for all the service of the tabernacle, and a stranger shall not come nigh unto you. And ye shall keep the charge of the sanctuary, and the charge of the altar, that there be no wrath any more upon the children of Israel. And I, behold, I have taken your brethren, the Levites, from among the children of Israel. To you they are given as a gift for the Lord to do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Therefore, thou and thy sons with thee shall keep your priest's office for everything of the altar and within the veil, and ye shall serve. I have given your priest's office unto you as a service of gift. And the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, Behold, I also have given thee the charge of mine heave offerings of all the hallowed things of the children of Israel. Unto thee have I given them by reason of the anointing, and to the sons, and to thy sons, by an ordinance forever. This shall be thine of the most holy things, reserved from the fire, every oblation of theirs, every meat offering of theirs, and every sin offering of theirs, and every trespass offering of theirs, which they shall render unto me, shall be most holy for thee and for thy sons. In the most holy place shalt thou eat it, every male shall eat it, it shall be holy unto thee. And this is thine, the heave offering of their gift with all the wave offerings of the children of Israel. I have given them unto thee, and to thy sons, and to thy daughters with thee, by statute forever. Every one that is clean in thy house shall eat of it. All the best of the oil, and all the best of the wine, and of the wheat, the first fruits of them, which they shall offer unto the Lord, them I have given thee. And whatsoever is first ripe in the land, which they shall bring unto the Lord, shall be thine. Every one that is clean in thine house shall eat of it. Everything devoted in Israel shall be thine. Everything that openeth the matrix in all flesh, which they bring unto the Lord, whether it be of men or beasts, shall be thine. Nevertheless, the firstborn of man shalt thou surely redeem, and the firstling of unclean beast shalt thou redeem. And those that are to be redeemed from a month old shalt thou redeem, according to thine estimation, for the money of five shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary, which is twenty geras. But the firstling of a cow, or the firstling of a sheep, or the firstling of a goat, thou shalt not redeem. They are holy. Thou shalt sprinkle their blood upon the altar, and shalt burn their fat for an offering made by fire for a sweet savor unto the Lord. And the flesh of them shall be thine, as the wave breast and as the right shoulder are thine. All the heave offerings of the holy things which the children of Israel Offer unto the Lord have I given thee, and thy sons and thy daughters with thee, by a statute forever. It is a covenant of salt forever before the Lord unto thee, and to thy seed with thee. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land, neither shalt thou have any part among them. I am thy part and thine inheritance among the children of Israel. And behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth in Israel for an inheritance, for their service which they serve, even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Neither must the children of Israel henceforth come nigh the tabernacle of the congregation, lest they bear sin and die. But the Levites shall do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation, and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations, that among the children of Israel they have no inheritance. But the tithes of the children of Israel, which they offer as an heave offering unto the Lord, I have given to the Levites to inherit. Therefore I have said unto them, Among the children of Israel they shall have no inheritance. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Thus speak unto the Levites, and say unto them, When ye take of the children of Israel the tithes which I have given you from them, 
for your inheritance, then ye shall offer up an heave offering of it for the Lord, even a tenth part of the tithe. In this your heave offering shall be reckoned unto you, as though it were the corn of the threshing floor, and as the fullness of the winepress. Thus ye shall Thus ye also shall offer and heave offering unto the Lord of all your tithes, which ye receive of the children of Israel, and ye shall give thereof the Lord's heave offering to Aaron the priest. Out of all your gifts ye shall offer every heave offering of the Lord, of all the best thereof, even the hallowed part thereof out of it. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, When ye have heaved the best thereof from it, then it shall be counted unto the Levites as the increase of the threshing floor, and as the increase of the wine press. And ye shall eat it in every place, ye and your households, for it is your reward for your service in the tabernacle of the congregation. And ye shall bear no sin by reason of it, when ye have heaped from it the best of it, neither shall ye pollute the holy things of the children of Israel, lest ye die. Summarizing Numbers chapter 18. The Lord says to Aaron that he, his sons, and his descendants will bear responsibility of the sanctuary of priesthood. In verse 2, God continues and tells Aaron that the Levites are to assist with the tabernacle duties, but only Aaron and his sons can get close enough to the vessels or the altar, or all of them may die. Verse 5, God instructs Aaron to keep this command so that there is no more wrath on Israel. Verse 6, God repeats that the Levites are a gift to serve in the tabernacle. Verse 7, God reminds Aaron that priesthood is a gift, but any stranger that gets too close will be put to death. Verse 8, God tells Aaron that he's put Aaron in charge of the contributions that are made to the tabernacle through Israel, and this is a permanent ordinance. Verse 9, every oblation, every meat, sin, and trespass offering will be most holy for Aaron and his male descendants. That's why it says his sons, specifically talking about male descendants right there. Then, uh, verse 11, wave offerings from Israel are accessible to Aaron's sons and daughters, anyone who is clean. Verse 12, this includes the best oil, the wine, the grain, and the first fruits. Verse 13, whatever is first ripe is Aaron's, and any clean person in his household can eat it. Verse 14, any devoted thing from Israel is Aaron's. Verse 15, every firstborn shall be Aaron's. He shall redeem firstborn humans and firstborn unclean beasts at one month old. And the price is uh, 20 geras. And so what Aaron has to do when the firstborn of uh, humans or one of these animals are born, he has to pay this 20 geras to redeem the animal or the human. But in verse 17, God explains that the firstborn of a sheep, cow, or goat should not be redeemed, but burned as a sweet savor to the Lord. These animals are holy. The weight breast and the right shoulder are Aaron's. In verse 19, God repeats, and in and, and verse 17, uh, the sweet savor that is a burnt offering, they're still allowed to uh, cut off the the uh, shoulder and the breast, and that is given to Aaron as food. So um, that's why it says there, the wave breast and right shoulder of Aaron's, they're still slaughtered. Okay, uh, verse 19, God repeats that all heap offerings are given to Aaron's sons and daughters. And so I'm reading from the King James Version, so there are a few different uh, little wordings here, heave offerings. But when we look at the English translation, uh, the English translations, because Bible Ref uh, provides five other translations in addition to the King James. But when we look at these other ones, we don't see the word heave offering. Basically, it's just a contribution.
So the heave offering, uh, this offering uh, that is uh, mentioned, are given to Aaron's sons and daughters permanently. Verse 20, Aaron does not get an inheritance of land or property. And God is Aaron's inheritance. Verse 21, all the tithes in Israel are given to the sons of Levi to control. And this is a gift for their service in the tabernacle. And so the service that they do in the tabernacle is so that Israel doesn't get too close, bear sin and die. Okay, verse 23. The Levites should do the tabernacle service and bear responsibility if they sin against it. This will be a permanent statute. The Levites also have no inheritance. Verse 26. The tithes from Israel. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention. Verse 25. That's when God starts speaking to Moses. So up until this point, God is speaking to Aaron. And that is significant in itself because most of the time when God speaks to Moses and Aaron, it's he's speaking to Moses and Aaron. He's never speaking or he hasn't spoke that much to Aaron by himself. But in this chapter, he is. So that's a new thing to notice in this, in this chapter. Um, and so... In verse 25, God is speaking to Moses and he's instructing him on uh, what the Levites are supposed to do. So the tithes from Israel are for the Levites' inheritance. They shall offer, uh, you know, it says a heave offering. It were, again, I'm, I'm reading from the King James Version. So it's saying that Levites should... The, the tithes of Israel are given to the Levites, and then they should offer even a tenth part to tithe to the Lord. So what this is saying is once the Levites receive the tithes from Israel, they're supposed to give a portion of it, you know, a tenth, you know, or a tithe of a tithe, a percentage of what they receive. And it's supposed to be given as a contribution to the Lord, but it's given to Aaron. And we see that... Uh, down here in verse 28. So it's a contribution to the Lord, but it, it is given to Aaron to control as well. Or I hate to say it like that to control, but it's 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 given to Aaron. And every gift that the Levites receive, they're supposed to be giving a portion to Aaron and a portion of the best part to Aaron. And verse 31, Consider, you know, this is assumed to be food, but Aaron and his, his descendants can eat it anywhere, and his it's the reward for the tabernacle service. So this is after the offering from Israel is mentioned. So the offering from Israel that is given to the Levites, once the Levites make that 10% contribution to Aaron, Aaron and any of his descendants can eat it anywhere. And so... Remember when we looked at verse 9, and this was only for the sons? Well, when we look down here at the very end, um, after we talk about Israel getting all of the uh, tithes or Israel's tithes going to the Levites, now the Levites, Aaron's descendants, when they get that portion from the Levites that you know, a tithe of a tithe. Well, once Aaron and his descendants receive it, anyone, male or female, can enjoy it. Verse 32 ends with uh, Moses continuing to speak to the Levites or instruction for the Levites through Moses and um, just telling them, give the best of the gifts that you receive for the priest. Don't defile the offerings by failing to do so, or you'll die. So, the end. So, there's just a couple of things that I wanted to highlight, and just some thoughts that I had while reading this. So,
God finally speaks to Aaron in verse 1, verse 8, and verse 20. And then verse 25, God speaks to Moses. Numbers 18, this chapter, it documents explicitly God's command that Aaron, a religious leader, uh, also can be likened to a priest or a pastor. He gets control of Israel's offerings and control of the Levites' tithes. This is a permanent statute. The Levites get Israel's offerings, or the Levites get Israel's tithes, but are required to donate the best part or a tithe of a tithe to Aaron, the religious official. Aaron and the Levites do not get an inheritance, and we see this in verse 20 and verse 23, where God says that explicitly. They don't get an inheritance, so that's why these contributions are, are theirs. So, <sighs> when I attend a church service and the topic of tithes and offerings come up, I've never seen this chapter referenced ever as the reason why we should be giving tithes and offerings. A lot of times what I see is an anecdotal message of someone who gave more than they thought they could give and then they received a big blessing. And um, every answer to every question, I honestly believe can be found to this Bible, in this Bible. If you have a question about a tradition, if you have a question about it, it comes from the Bible. We can answer what questions we have for God in the Bible. But if we're not reading it, if you've never read it, if you've never read the entire Bible, but you have a ministry, there's just something to be said for that. So I've definitely heard Malachi Malachi reference when it comes to tithes and offering. And what I'm really hoping is that when I finally get to the book of Malachi, that I'm not finding out that my entire life it's been taken out of context to fit a different narrative. When I'm reading this and I'm seeing that God specifically outlined tithes and offerings and why religious officials get access and control because God actually outlined it to be that way. So that's Numbers chapter 18. Thank you for watching. And the next upload will be Numbers 19. God bless you.